Hey, what are you doing? Listen, there's a popsicle stick that has epoxy resin on it. It's what I use for mixing the epoxy. It's not candy. It's not a popsicle. I mean, right? Hey everybody, what's going on? Hope you guys are doing well out there. Eric here. Today we're going to start stripping the new Chinese dragon guitar. I guess that's what we're going to call it. Plus I got a little bit of an unbagging. But first, a word from our sponsor. Coffee good. Water good. Pop bad. Energy drink bad. All right, so here is the new China Dragon Inlay Les Paul. It's not really too bad of a guitar as far as the bones go. The electronics, I would say, yeah, they're they're kind of uh, basic Chinese. The tuners, basic Chinese fake Rover tuners. Uh, but the bones of it seem to be pretty good and, and great for modding. So before I tear into this, I want to do this. <laughs> So as you can see here, the headstock is all stripped out, all the tuners are removed, and I also kind of sanded it down a little bit, because around the C and a little bit in the middle over here, there were some dips, and there was a little bit of a dip over here in the clear coat, and I want to try to get rid of that, so hit it with some 600 grit sandpaper, I'm going to hit it with some 1500, 2500, and 3000, and give it a good buffing. Now. I've got all my parts laid out here that are for this guitar. I got my pickups over here. I got pots over here. I got some extra pots that I ended up ordering for this thing. I have the new the new bridge, uh, Wilkinson's roller bridge, and probably going to go with I don't know which one I'm going to go with as far as a cap goes. I don't know if I'm going to go with the two large orange ones or the two smaller orange ones. I have to see what the values of these are before I put them on. But anyways, so these are the new Grover tuners. These are locking tuners. These are actual Grover tuners. Now, one thing that I've noticed with the Chinese Grover tuners, and I know I made a video about this a long time ago. Did I not open this at all? Because it's pretty much sealed shut. Come on. I want to open this and have them flying all over the place, so come on, open. There you go. So, a couple of things with the Grover tuners that uh, I kind of said a long time ago as far as the quality and everything else goes. So, here are the cheap Chinese Grover tuners. Let me get this plastic off of here. So, you can see the cheap Chinese Grover tuners, how kind of like not nice and shiny they are and scratched, pitted, and everything else as far as the finish goes. And then you have the actual Grover tuners, which are nice and shiny. You can see that. They're nice and shiny. They're mirrored. No pitting going on it. The lettering is nice and sharp and crisp. Even the lettering on these things is different if you really look at them really close. And uh, everything else is pretty much the same. They look like the same body and, and, you know, but, yeah, they're not. They are not the same. 
And the Grover ones, these are nice and tight. You know, they're not wiggly at all. These fake Chinese ones, these guys wiggle. So there's a difference in quality as far as that goes. So if you ever get a Chinese guitar and you say that, oh, well, the tuners aren't that bad on them, give it time. You will notice the problem with them and how bad they are. So right now what I want to do is hit this with some 1500 because I already hit it with the 600 grit sandpaper and I am doing this wet sanding and I am not using alcohol to do this so I have to be very very careful with how much water falls into these holes and you can control that you don't have to soak the headstock in order to do a wet sanding and all you need is just your paper wet this is a 1500 grit uh, sandpaper foam block I recommend squeezing all the water out of it and then go ahead and hit it with this just want to remove the scratches from the 600 grit without soaking this thing and I want to say the headstock on here I'll zoom in on this thing so you could see this or actually I have to move the camera so you could see this but they did put a plastic or I don't know what they call it as far as what Gibson does but they put a cover over the wood uh, kind of like a plastic cover or something you can see it around the edges that there is a little bit of a uh, black on the sides these holes are clean there is no rubbing compound in these holes which is kind of nice all right so right there you can see the mahogany neck or headstock and the plastic sheeting that they put on top of the headstock, just like what uh, Gibson would do. A little bit surprised. And it's clean in those holes. I'm really surprised at that too. All of them are actually pretty clean. I love this thing as far as this phone. This phone works really, really good for doing videos. All right, my shaky hands. All right, so I want to hit this thing a little bit with the 3000 now. I'm already done with all the stages of sandpaper. So what I need is what I use for the polishing pad. Well, the adapter is what I need. Because that is Velcro. So is my 3000 grit sandpaper. That's Velcro as well. I know it's in here. There it is. All the way at the bottom. Come here, you. Now, again, I'm going to squeeze out all the water that I can out of this because I don't want a water mess all over the place. All right. There we go. That's a lot better than what it was. So, just like this person here, my guitar is also now nutless. Cheap plastic nut. Alright, so right now I want to check out to see how straight this neck is as far as fret leveling and everything else goes really don't want to have to do a fret level job on this thing so I've got my straight edge over here it is a 24 and 3 quarter and I have my allen key which is a 4 millimeter and I've got the neck pretty much set uh, looking with the flashlight at these inlays 
um, because they're inlays and you can kind of see light through them. Um, yeah, it makes it a little bit hard to see if uh, this straight edge is nice and flat up against a fretboard. So I had to use a feeler gauge to get it done. So let me get this out. Let's check to see how bad these are. Like I said, I asked him to do a nice job on the fretwork on this thing. This one here is a little bit high. So, instead of having to do fretwork on it, So here's a little high. This puppy here is a little high. So the fretwork on this thing is not that bad. Could have been a lot worse. So I had a few frets that were still a little bit on the high side, but knock them down a little bit. That worked out just great. So. Alright, so enough screwing around here. Let's get this thing stripped. So I have some new knobs coming for this thing that actually match this top. They are gold with uh, the perloid, the same color as what's in the Dragon uh, on the top of them. So I got new of these coming. And uh, yeah, so I got basically all the parts so far, what I need. And uh, yeah, so let me find the right socket that I use for removing this stuff and I don't have it here so we got a wrench that's going to do it or what these are actually small I don't think they're 10 millimeters I think they're smaller than tens yeah they're I think they are so let's see here here's a 10 millimeter and it seems a little bit too big no it's about right so what is this then that's a 716 so it's not a 10 millimeter yeah. there's my problem all right so I'm gonna get these guys out I actually want to check to see the inlay work in these holes, if there is, how deep it is, how deep they did this, if they're real thin or what. Pickup number one, yep. They are not Epiphones. Pickup number two, same thing. Actually, the pickup number two has a real thin wire on it compared to the neck pickup. And let's see how they did this. All right, so there is no extension of the heel inside here. And the heel is also two pieces so there is a glued piece here but yeah so looking in here 
where the inlay is. This shit's pretty thin. Yeah, it's pretty thin in there. They did a nice job. All right, so she stripped. And uh, we're going to continue with this in the next video. What? I was just kidding. Since when you took me seriously. Perfect timing to shield these guys. And shield paint is what it's going to be. Love these brushes when you get done with them just throw them away get them by a six pack I ended up getting six six packs of these so I got plenty of them all right so I'm gonna let that dry and that'll be it for tonight I'm gonna finish this thing off tomorrow and get the rest of this stuff installed I'm thinking about buffing this out myself a little bit uh, just to make it look a little bit better Did I cut myself no 